you're one of the world's largest money managers, the world's largest hedge fund. How much do you believe your meritocracy, the way you operate, how, how much in assets do you believe you could deploy today? Uh, let me break, uh, to answer your question, is alpha and is beta, uh, okay? Um, and then we're dealing with the, the general question of liquidity. Um, alpha is a zero-sum game. Well, so I, I'm, I'm going to take a couple of minutes and, and just sort of explain that. Alpha, uh, everybody has to start with a strategic asset allocation mix. And how do they come up with that strategic asset allocation mix that they then tactically deviate from? So when you create that asset allocation mix, uh, we create a balanced portfolio we call an all-weather portfolio, and we have some capacity in that area because it's a passive portfolio that is just holding an asset allocation mix that is not active. In that, we have capacity. In uh, alpha, um, you have transactions, and um, you don't want to have, we're closed in alpha. We don't want to take more money. Um, we've decided we've been closed for most of the last 10 years. So um, the answer is we don't have capacity. Uh, because if you manage too much money, then your transaction costs ain't going to eat, eat you up. So um, I think the, for any manager, uh, the amount that they have is a function really of almost how much they transact. I think we have the most capacity because we deal in all liquid markets in the world. I mean, not only stocks, bonds, currencies, commodities, everything that's liquid. And we tend to move very slowly in those. We take positions in those, and we're moving them around. And we're at our, what I would say is our maximum, and we don't want to take more money. So active management is limited. In other words, I know the, the boundaries of it, and the limitation for active management is, is limited. The ability, the real issue, is how to create a really well-balanced strategic asset allocation mix. Not all that money has come around, largely, because central banks have put $15 trillion of their balance sheet into buying financial assets, right? So that's put a lot of liquidity in the market. And because of that liquidity and all of that demand, then there's the purchase of all asset classes because they all compete with each other. So it's, there's the competition of, um, you know, you have a, a zero interest rate, you have a two and a quarter percent bond yield, and then you have an equity yield and private equity and everything has an abundance of demand because there's all that money chasing all that, that, that number of investments. So as a result of that, there's going to be low returns coming forward, and that's going to have important implications as we're, uh, as we're moving. So the answer is that there's not enough for active management. Then you have to deal with the strategic asset allocation risk, uh, strategic asset allocation issue to try to create that balanced portfolio. And then when you take that, you're going to have that in an environment where there's generally going to be low returns because all of that money has bid up the prices of those assets to have relatively low returns. And the real thing that those institutions need to do is to know how to engineer for that. 